Hey Gemini, this is all about you. It's your post yoga for me. You can tell my hair is all over the place. Post yoga, weekly oracle, and tarot card reading. So the oracle card reading is going to happen right here, full spread. I'll flip the camera around so we can review the spread later on. And then I'll do the full tarot spread and romance reading. The link is below in the description box. So Gemini, let's get right in. This is for Gemini, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Gemini influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Let's get into it. Gemini. Ooh. Ooh. Right, right. Okay. Came right out. Um, but right, let, let me show you the cards. <laughs> Spirit has your back. This is your crowning energy. And be at home. There is somebody very close to home or family that's coming through for you hardcore today. Could be like literally they're your lawyer defending you in a case. It could be that there is some sort of, um, there's some sort of war uh, warming, unconditional support that you're getting as you go through a, a, um, some sort of trial or like literal trial. But there's also a sense of you it could also be you becoming um, uh, the leader of your family or you finally understanding how important home is when you haven't realized it before. You're getting to go back home. There's something about understanding the connection between you, your heart space, because this is green, right? This is the heart chakra opening up and being in a comfortable spot, being very comfortable as you take the lead. Spirit has your back. Spirit has your back, but it's it's related to your home, related to um, your family. Remain whatever. Listen, we all know that family is not just biology, right? It could be your soul tribe, <clears throat> your soul tribe too. And with eagle, eagle is usually a Capricornian energy, so you could actually literally be finding your heart and your home with a Capricorn. It isn't likely for Gemini sun and moon, but the for for for, for Gemini um, sun signs. But it really is more when it comes to romance. It, it it it's more dependent upon your Venus, your Moon, and your Mercury. Also, your ascendant uh, says a lot about you in terms of <clears throat> more about you in terms of your compatibility um, with uh, love than your sun sign. Just an FYI. So I know that a lot of Gemini like sun signs get a lot of bad shit. And it's it's really there's so much more to love than um than the sun sign. So here we have maybe Capricornian energy, maybe Cancerian energy or Virgo energy. Somebody really dedicated to the home and the heart space. You helping you being there for you or this understanding of you like almost like awakening to just how important it is. You may be actually flying home, literally getting to return home, home for the holidays, home for the week, home for the weekend, home for the day. You're getting to go back to the space where you're sort of able to uh, recharge yourself because you're surrounded by people who love you unconditionally. And this is so essential for you, Gemini, to be able to be around people who don't judge, who, who just let you be you. And then there's this warmth all around you. So you definitely have a beautiful support system that is playing a huge role in what's going to go happen, what's going to go down this week. What else is going to go down? Well, let's see, because we got to flip the cards. But that's your crowning energy. So this is definitely your soul tribe. This is definitely people who will stick with you through thick and thin. This is their energy. And this is your energy for them, too. So it could also be your energy of extremely loyal. You got somebody's back. You're looking out for them, right? You got that aerial bird's eye view on that's going down. And you're, you're standing, you know exactly where your loyalties lie. You're standing by them. Um, but this is definitely almost understanding how blessed you are in terms of what you have at home. Really, being able to see your family and understand just how lucky you are. Um, it could be one of the other options that I gave you <laughs> uh, as well, but there's definitely this energy crowning your reading of home and heart space and family being a connection to your spirit. It could also be... It could also be a literal spirit, somebody from your past, somebody that has passed on being around you to support you and you feeling their presence in your heart. You can feel them and you can feel their love this week. That's really beautiful, divine energy. 
Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Gemini placements for the next seven days. Mm. And I wanted to look at the cards. So two plus three is five. Six plus eight is 14 is five. Oh, something is changing. These are both, these are both numbers that add up, ultimately add up to five. So there's change going on here. There could be change to your home and heart space. There could be you taking the lead or becoming the leader of your, of your tribe or your, your family. Um, there just could be changes going on that are affecting how you feel or we, a re, in other words, you need to be home. You need to be home to help. You need to be home to guide. You need to be home to oversee things. Um, there's a reason for you to be close to the heart space, close to your home uh, this, this week. Okay, two more cards fell out. First two cards that fell out. But these want attention, don't they? Well, let's see. The miracles are endless. And be loyal to what you love. This is Taurus and Cancerian energy. This is definitely people. It could be people giving you money, supplying you with resources, saying, come here, just be with us, stay with us. It could be people opening their heart with you, changing their minds about you and being able to, you know, take you in and embrace you. It could also be the energy in reverse so that you're the one opening your heart and mind to somebody that maybe was sort of, um, 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 what is it? Oh, why am I, why am I losing the words? Exiled. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a feeling of, being provided for, abundantly provided for. Interesting. This is life is speeding up. Two of your, at both of your energies showing up in your reading and sing your own song. So this is a, this is literal, but this is also two becoming one. Gemini, are you starting a, a long-term commitment or deciding to get married or deciding to move in with somebody, making the decision to become like the head of a household, become a mother, become a father? Making the, find meeting somebody or found somebody that you want to be paired up with. This is an interesting week that's bringing people together. There's a lot of reconciliation and also um, joining of hearts this week. And so I see this happening to becoming one in some sort of that alchemical magic that happens, not necessarily magic, but happens with the DNA strands. You can see the double helix. This is also ancestors from their past affecting you. And remember I had said this feeling of an ancestor being around you and guiding you this week, seeing you from above, like, like, like helping you see things in a different way, some sort of ancestral message, um, somebody, a loved one that's passed con con connecting with you or contacting you. Um, but you have everything that you need. It could be getting an inheritance back, like hearing from a judge and seeing that you, oh, you just inherited a house or you just inherited money. It could be money coming into you through an inheritance, through bloodline, and you being able to now move forward on in your life this week. There is this energy of things taking off very quickly. And this is you. It's, it's a, it's a sure, it's a, you see, he has four hooves, but it's in the air. It's, this is a very air energy, even though it's a hooved creature, which would normally for me be um, earth energy, but this isn't earth energy. It moves too swiftly, but it's a certain earth. It's a certain air energy. It's, it's self-assured. So you know which direction you want to go in. And I think it has some ties, something to do with your ties to your, um, to your ancestors. And this is you speaking about it, singing about it, talking about it, informing other people about it in a way that is digestible for them or palatable for them um this could be uh you being listened to or singing somebody's praises you could be giving a speech or uh, opening up a um opening up an exhibition or celebrating something or s unveiling something to do with your ancestors say you just wrote a book or you just you know you just uh, created some sort of artwork that you're unveiling to speak of your ancestors and speak of, of how much they meant to you and how they've affected you in, their, in, in your life, um, in your connectivity to them. 
that's that's really beautiful energy gemini because this is perfect for you it's it's about you communicating through the generations being able to use your ability and skill to know what to say as well as your interest and intrigue in people's behaviors and how they behave <clears throat> to connect the bloodline throughout history. You could be going, I mean, literally, you could be going on to Ancestry.com and finding out who you're related to and tracing your bloodline just because you're interested in it. But transformation is beautiful. So this is definitely finding your soul tribe. You could be traveling to go see them. There's a lot of movement here, so I feel that there could be some travel over this week. You could be going home, like I said. You could be going to visit somebody far away that you consider family. But it's definitely, you're flying there. There's a lot of air energy here. Movement through flight. Taking a trip and going to see somebody returning home, returning to your home, somebody who you love more than anyone in the world. Um, even if you're flying literally away from your home, it, it's where your heart home is. It's, it's where your heart chakra home is, okay? Um, and that sort of awakening you to a sense of almost like a deeper and broader sense of who you are when you're around these people or this person because you feel so connected when you're around them. My dog is eating my clothes. You feel so connected when you're around them. That's beautiful. Okay, be here now. This is definitely happening soon. It's not, it's not casting out into the future. This, this, is, this is Libra energy, beauty, natural beauty, but outstanding beauty, a balance and hard work, keeping up, keeping going, move constant movement, but this is movement to stay in the same place. You see hummingbirds hover. So there's a lot of movement going on, but to feed their soul, to feed their bodies, they have to be able to hover in the same place. So I feel like there is definitely movement that has to do with progress being made to build a foundation for yourself for the future. Um, maybe you just got an inheritance or you just got enough money to put a down payment on a business that you want to open or even a new car. Something that's going to get you someplace. You could have just bought a plane ticket somewhere. There's definitely movement here to bring you back to what sustains you so that you can be there for a while. Interesting, that's awesome, okay. So we have think on your feet, lots of reason to improvise. This is also Sagittarius season. Lots of reason to improvise, but you feel very, very comfortable in the space. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. You could be being asked to open up your mind in a more broad sense. Instead of focusing on the details that you see and like digest and, and, and learn about people, this is about seeing a larger picture, a broader spectrum caring more about the masses, the community, as opposed to <clears throat> as opposed to particular people in general, uh, particular particular individuals. So this is to, for me, this is about overseeing your entire family as opposed to just um, one person. Like I said, taking the lead, taking the lead of your home for some reason. Um, that you could be ca being called to do that and take a leap of faith. There's a lot of good luck here. There's a lot of really good fortune for you this week, Gemini, coming through. Um, positive, not positive energy. I hate when people say positive energy. You know, it's balance. It's harmony. So there's a lot of, and remember, he makes music too. This is a very musical creature. So this could be you giving guidance, Jiminy Cricket style, uh, being somebody's conscious, being the conscious for your entire family, um, being the center of them, having taken over or realized that you're now the center of them because you have so much to give and you've done this work to connect the generations. Something about, or you could be going to see the next generations, going to see um, your son, your daughter, going to see... <clears throat> um, Going back to your soul tribe, that's what you're doing. But it's definitely you being a guide, being a guardian, and guiding through communication. It's not just a simple, people look to you for a reason, in other words. And this week, this is, this is the energy coming out this week. They are looking to you for the song that you sing and the words that you say. And I just feel like there's this connection between what you are communicating and your ancestry. Uh, you are literally, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me turn the camera around so we can review the cards. I know, Gemini, the most popular readings on YouTube are 
oh, this girl said that, and you know she's treat cheating on you, and it, it's just not me. Like I just, I have this, I have this deep, I have this broader, I think, understanding of self improvement, and this is all about opening up your heart chakra and opening up your heart space, basically making your family bigger, opening up your tribe, letting more people in, because more people want to listen to you, most more people hear you, more people are running directly to what you have to say. I think it's not only because of what where you are right now, but how you've connected these people to their past. How you've brought them closer somehow to their ancestors. Like I said, you could have just discovered on Ancestry.com your whole family tree. You could have been involved in doing this work. You could also be involved in writing a book or creating something. Like literally manifesting something that tells this story. Um, but this is definitely you being the storyteller and the guide. And kind of sitting as the consciousness. The, that that founding member or that foundation for your family. If somebody has passed on, you may be receiving messages from them in terms of dreams, in terms of songs. You could be traveling back to go visit their grave um, around the holidays, uh, but you're definitely going to start experiencing connectivity with them, some sort of energy exchange that's going to bring you deeper into an understanding of just how far your reach is, just how deep your family goes. This is definitely happening now in Sagittarius season. Over the next seven days, you could be traveling to be closer to your home space. This is, but it's also a sense of transcending the 3D world because this is the messenger of the gods, the cow. So it's, it's not just, and this is overseeing sort of Capricornian energy, overseeing the big picture, running things in terms of, you know, the government, schools, institutions, job, work. This is very Capricornian energy. So it's almost like, it's almost like sort of being given, just like, the, like almost like the gods coming down to choose you as a conduit. Um, and I, I know that sounds so crazy. So how do I say it? it could be your ancestors. Like I said, it could be just connecting with the past or connecting, helping other people connect with spirit is how it would play out um, primarily. Uh, it could be uh, you literally uh, helping other people get sober or you uh, handing out food to the homeless or, or raising a lot of funds for charities. This is about you broadening other people's minds as you broaden your own and doing something that really makes you feel really, really very good um, in the process. It's also bringing in a lot of fortune for you. Fortune because your heart is broadening, it's expanding, but there's also a sense of some sort of inheritance coming in for you, Gemini. So what exactly that is, let's see what it is. What exactly who, what, when, where. I'm gonna dig deep into, um, I'm gonna dig deep into the reading with tarot cards and I'm also gonna flip a little bit of the romance. Let's go over to the extended Gemini, I'll see you there.